Are you starting A-level psychology? Here's the truth. It's one of the most fascinating subjects you'll ever study, but it's also tougher and more scientific than most people expect. I want to give you five truths I wish every psychology student knew from day one. These aren't the usual tips. These are the inside insights that save my students time, stress, and even boost their grades. Number one, psychology is heavy on biology and science skills. Think psychology is all about dreams and personality tests? Here's the reality. You'll be knee deep in neurons, hormones, and brain structures. The first time students see the corpus callosum or hemispheric lateralization, I see the panic on their faces. But here's the secret. You don't need to be a biologist to succeed. What actually helps is a mix of strategies. First, get comfortable with key terms. Complex vocabulary can feel intimidating, but it's often just fancy academic language for simple ideas. For example, localization of function sounds fancy, but it just means that different parts of the brain are responsible for different tasks, like how the occipital lobe handles vision. Once you break it down, it's not so scary. Second, remember that much of the biology content is about processes things happening in a sequence. That means you can physically act them out or use movement to understand them. I've had classes where we turn the whole room into a synapse. Students become neurons, neurotransmitters and receptors. Acting out synaptic transmission brings it to life and suddenly it just clicks. And third, use visual learning tools. Videos that explain processes step by step with diagrams or animations can be a game changer. There's a video on localization of function on the Barity of Mind YouTube channel. I'll link it below. Students who engage with the science side early instead of avoiding it often end up making it their favorite and highest scoring topic. Number two, it's okay to feel overwhelmed at first. Starting psychology can feel like being dropped into deep water. Studies flying at you, strange new terms, and essays that seem impossible to get right. Almost every student feels this way, even the ones who go on to get top grades. So if you're feeling lost, you're not alone. But here's the thing, the students who stay overwhelmed are usually the ones who wait too long to get a handle on it. They keep thinking it'll make sense later and suddenly it's exam season and the panic hits hard. The real fix? Small, consistent habits that build momentum early. 10 minutes of flashcards while waiting for the bus, one past paper question after dinner, a quick mind map the moment you finish a topic. It doesn't feel like much, but it stacks Number three, writing skills matter as much as knowledge. Here's a common trap. Students learn loads of studies and theories, but when they write essays, they throw everything onto the page in a jumble. Examiners don't reward how much you know, they reward how clearly and strategically you can explain your knowledge. If you ignore this, you risk writing essays full of facts, but with no structure, no evaluation, and no clear argument. And that can cost you top marks, even if you know all all the content. It's not just about listing studies, it's about unpacking each point, showing deep understanding and carefully tailing your answer to the question. The way you structure your ideas matters too. Frameworks like point, evidence, explanation and link are a great starting point, but on their own they're not enough. What really elevates an essay is the ability to link ideas together into a coherent argument, to build momentum across paragraphs, and to adapt your structure based on the specific demands of the question. It's a skill, and like any skill, it improves with deliberate practice and good models. If you want to really master this, you'll find on Bear It In Mind a whole video series on how to write psychology essays, as well as exemplar essays for different topics, top grade answers you can learn from and model your own writing on. Number four, psychology isn't just about people, it's about data. When people think of psychology, they picture behavior, relationships, the brain. But here's something most students don't expect. Psychology is also about data. You'll read graphs, analyze percentages, and run simple statistical tests, because understanding people also means understanding the patterns behind their behavior. And this is where some students panic and say, but I 
Good news, you don't need to be a maths genius. You won't need to do any complex maths. It's more about understanding what the numbers are telling you. What you will be asked is what does this data mean? Can you look at a graph or the results from a statistical test and explain what it shows about memory or stress? Or sleep. Students who avoid the data side often struggle in exams, lose easy marks and miss the patterns that make psychology truly exciting. But if you practice now, you'll turn a potential weakness into a secret strength and suddenly their numbers start telling the story of human behaviour instead of confusing you. Number five, the real win is the skills, not just the grade. Yes, you want an A, maybe an A star, and you should aim for it. But if your only goal is a grade, you're actually missing the most valuable thing psychology gives you. Because while some students just cram and forget, the ones who engage properly walk away with skills that last for life. Skills that make you stand out in interviews, in uni seminars, in the real world. Here's the danger. If you only focus on memorizing studies, you might scrape a grade, but you'll miss the bigger transformation. This subject trains you to argue well, analyze clearly, write persuasively, and understand people. Skills that genuinely change your future. So yes, aim for top marks, but don't treat psychology like a box ticking subject. The more you apply it, question it and use it, the more powerful it becomes and the more it'll keep rewarding you long after the exam is over. To help you start strong, I've put together a set of free resources designed to make A-level psychology much easier. Grab them all from the link in the description, one download and you'll know exactly what to study, what to revise and how to make the tricky parts much more manageable. And remember, if you want to go deeper, especially on essay writing, check out the How to Write Psychology Essays video series. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.